Yeah, um, so my name is Tito Valdez. Um, I'm an assistant district attorney in the Family Violence and Sexual Assault Unit. Um, and in that capacity, I primarily handle uh, cases involving child victims. Uh, so physical sexual abuse, I've had uh, the opportunity to handle some homicides involving child victims. Um, and then occasionally I'll handle uh, domestic violence cases, intimate partner violence, uh, where there's a child uh, that's affected in some way. Um, so I grew up in a home with a lot of conflicts. Um, my dad is a person that was in, actively in addiction, um, and I experienced a lot of things and had to grow up a lot quicker than most kids should have. I'm, um, I'm also a survivor myself of childhood sexual abuse, and so from the very beginning I knew that I wanted to do something in some capacity to advance child protection. Um, and so uh, I went to law school with that in mind. So I came here, um, like I said, in May of 2021. Um, and for the first six months, I was in the juvenile unit. Um, so I was in juvenile for about six months, and I primarily staffed courtroom 5F, which is a courtroom dedicated to preliminary hearings uh, involving child victims and witnesses. So I got an opportunity to really learn the crimes code um, at the preliminary hearing level, um, and then from there I was promoted to the Family Violence and Sexual Assault Unit in November of 2021, um, and I've been here ever since. When you first meet a victim, uh, they're not sure uh, whether they can trust you. A lot of, I would comfortably say that around 80 to 85 percent of the survivors that I work with are black women and girls. Um, and there are a lot of, there's a lot of discomfort um, around that particular community, my community, and law enforcement. And I recognize that. Um, and it's really helpful. It's, it's empowering for me um, as a person that went through it and is now in the system in the capacity that I'm in to kind of help them understand that I'm on your side um, and that uh, there's nothing wrong with you, that you know, the shame that you have been carrying on your shoulders never belonged on your shoulders, um, and that you can, you can trust the system and that we're gonna do everything that we can and that we're gonna get through it together. Um, I've had the opportunity to handle cases involving just child neglect, um, and in examining the case, I realized that the issue isn't a, a parent that doesn't care about their children, but it's a parent who is poor, um, and I'm just a, a staunch advocate for not criminalizing poverty. I recognize that um, giving a person a felony conviction because they had to go to work and maybe made the inappropriate decision to leave a child in a home because of their circumstances. You know, um, if you look at my wall, I have a bunch of paintings and, and drawings that I've uh, accumulated over the years, and they're all by survivors that I've worked with um, at the conclusion of their cases or during a prep session. Um, and I, and I think about them, um, and I think that finding justice for them and knowing that their abuser is removed from society um, while also focusing on their rehabilitative needs is a win.